In this episode of Accelerator TV, we tapped left field rapper Lab Taquan for a tour of his beloved Baltimore. Lab Taquan is a true original. His singular aesthetic, a combination of true school hip hop, Afrocentrism, free jazz, and dance beats, is rooted in his eccentric West Baltimore upbringing. Here, Lab shows us history in hacking, vegan spots, and long abandoned housing projects. In other words, parts of Baltimore you might not even see on the wire. This episode was made possible by Converse. For more information, go to converse.com. About to take you on a journey around my town, Be More, Mall Town, Home City, Babylon 7, Wasteland, Murderland. I'm gonna start from downtown. We're gonna go east, we're gonna go west, uptown, downtown, all around town. Crushing them seeds to the break of dawn. Known as the mask of the disco sheep, blowing down them seeds every day of the week. So get your chucks on, because we about to do some serious stuff. And can you dig? Come on with the kid, let's get it by. Be more careful. Like paparazzi, a ghetto rerun, and the children watch it. Evil and lethal with more sequels than Walking up what is known as Franklin Street. Franklin Street runs that way. Going west to West Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? I was raised in the west side. My pops, however, the, the foundation, Mr. Doc Soul, Stir Harry Young. He's from this side, this direction, is the east side. Now, right here where we at right now is very, very critical. Um, you in the heart of downtown Baltimore. And Baltimore is a crazy city because it's going through gentrification, a very old city that's had a lot of history, a lot of different things in its storied past. Gentrification means that, just to make it simple, rich white folks is buying up all the ghettos and stuff and turning it into luxurious living conditions. But just to give you a little piece, you see a lot of dilapidated buildings. It's right here, and this is like a theater right here that was real popular back in the day. This right here is uh, Howard Street. This goes between North and South. We don't you know, really necessarily call it South Side. Some people do, but it's like, you go keep going far enough, you run into a neighborhood called Brooklyn, uh, you know what I'm saying, Glen Burnie, Cherry Hill, Westport. Cherry Hill and Westport's extra, extra hood. But now when you're going the other way, up north, you know, you run into a lot of crazy shit too. This is an old city with a lot of sensibilities of the East Coast and a lot of sensibilities of the, of the South. So it's very unique. A lot of cats wonder why I rap abstract. If you were surrounded by dope fiends and killers all day, your ass would be a little abstract too, motherfucker. The gentrification of black folks' habits. I remain supreme, self-lord and master. I'm here to prove we ain't all savage. I'm gonna keep my voice down, man. We standing in front of Enoch Pratt Library in downtown Baltimore. Significance of this place is that it's an old ass library. A lot of cats from the hood coming here to get on the internet. I just it. Hey, how you doing? You can see the kind of stuff that they be having up here. They be having authors and shit come through with their books. Pretty decent library. It's been around, I think, since like 1850 or some crazy shit like that. Let's check it out. It's like, oh damn, I'm off like a motherfucker. 1882. This is a church. I always said this church would be a hot ass nightclub right here. This shit right here. I would have a line all the way outside by the gate. And then I would just like, you know what I mean? Just let motherfuckers wait in line on the sidewalk. It's, it's not all like the, the shooting and the violence and people getting robbed and raped. It ain't all that. It's that too, but it's not all that. It's a little bit later. We're still kind of downtown. This right here actually is Midtown, Charles Village. Take a look around, you know what I'm saying? Right now we on uh, St. Paul Street. A lot of times out of towners, they come here, they live in this area because this is more like, you know, the college students, you know, they go to Johns Hopkins University or people that might go to Morgan or Towson State or Loyola or Notre Dame or whatever. This spot right here, Yabba Pot, you know what I mean? It's a good look, you know, you come here, if you vegan or vegetarian, you can get what you need, uh, hold down your gut with something that's not, you know, poison. You find a cat like Lab Tech One, you know, kicking it back in a spot like this. Come on. 
This cat right here, man. Quiet this is cat. This is the cut, man. You know what I'm saying? Lord Kassim. If you if you ever saw like, you know, the brother Master Ace or, you know, anything from Master Ace Incorporated, he was the dude on the wheels of, of steel. Former executioner from Master Ace Incorporated. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Where we at right now, B? In the 13th floor. The 13th floor, you know what I'm saying? Downtown Baltimore. As you can see, it's a little it's a little early in the night. You know, we haven't quite got started, but dig this view, man. You're looking at the whole city. See the Bay Bridge from here, it's crazy. You know, you get a beautiful view. You get to hang out, have drinks. That's a to the most high. One time, population control. I'm over here in McCullough Homes. You know what I'm saying? This is like West Side, Baltimore. Pennsylvania Avenue is like right over there. Um, this is the hood. This is housing right here, you dig? This is the real shit. McCullough Homes is good people's, you know what I'm saying? Used to hang here a lot when I was younger. One of the things I always thought was dope was these statues right here. You know what I'm saying? The little the little boy playing the music, and then the girl over here on her book grind. And you know that really sums it up for me. That's me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in the hood, but I'm down with the music. I'm down with the books. I'm standing in the middle of the street on McCullough. It's insane what I'm doing right now. But I want y'all to know about Baltimore. So I'm gonna take y'all like the like the not like the the crocodile hunter, but like the crocodile. You dig? I'm gonna take you to the deepest depths one time. Let's check it out. Y'all hey, is way deeper than you need to be. Right now we on the corner of White Lock and Madison Avenue. Yeah. If you really take a good look, you know what I'm saying, Baltimore has some great architecture. These, these buildings are like from the early 19th, I mean, excuse me, early uh, 20th century, late 19th century. And really big manners. A lot of the shit that y'all see on the wires from this neighborhood. You dig? You see a lot of little back alley game. You know what I mean? White Lock City. Madison Avenue, you feel me? You see it? Let's take it to the middle. Let's go to the middle of the street. It's something about when you look at the middle of a street and then you can see where you've been and where you're going. Yeah, it's been some years. We moved a long time ago, but you know what I mean? This is the old crib. This is my old rest. You know what I'm saying? 2235 Madison Avenue, you feel me? For all of you fans of like house music and you know, I'm sure you heard of the Basement Boys, Crystal Waters and all that. Well, the Basement Boys used to live right here in this basement apartment right here. These cats would air it out. They would bring out the, they would bring out the uh, speakers and put it right here on the sidewalk and let it out. That's Baltimore history, B. Keep you on point like a javelin that so you know what the fuck is happening. Right here is North Avenue, you know what I'm saying? North Avenue in Baltimore, it separates the east side and the west side. It take you from one side of town to the other. When I was young, man, yeah, I used to be right here in the summertime. You know what I mean? Every summer out here with the snow cone stand game. I'm not, and that's not a slick little cold word for selling drugs. I mean, literally fruity flavored snow cones. Yeah, it's real. Boy, it's hardcore, man. I'm feeling good. I'm on a master cleanse right now. I'm fasting, and my energy level is ridiculous. So that's what y'all feeling. It's nothing chemical about it. It's the detoxification of chemicals that brings us 